to another vlog. It's Wednesday. I just got home from work and we're actually about to get ready to go to Top Golf to meet up with some friends. Um, but I thought I'd pick up the camera. I usually would do like a weekend in my life or a week in my life starting on Monday, but I'm just gonna do like a few days in my life. I don't know. I just thought we'd have, um, I just thought we had some fun plans over the next few days. So I thought I would just pick up the camera, but I'm getting ready right now. Um, I just changed, into, I'll show you guys my outfit in a second, but I just decided to like completely restart on my makeup. <laughs> I had makeup on for work, but if you work a full-time job, you know, like, after wearing makeup all day long for like eight, nine hours, I need to just like wash the face. Regardless of if I'm gonna be doing something afterwards, I gotta wash my face. So I just did that and I'm gonna put on some moisturizer because my face feels super dry. And then I'm gonna put on just a little bit of makeup. It's just top golf, so. It is like super, super humid in Houston right now. And I've been a Houstonian for most of my life and I already know. There's just no point in doing my hair when it's this humid because it's just gonna fall down, especially with Top Golf or be outside the whole time. So I may just like run a quick blow dry through it just to like zhuzh it, but again, I don't even know if it's worth doing even that, but I don't know. We'll see what I have time to do. I actually have plenty of time. We don't need to be there till seven and I don't even think it's six o'clock yet, or maybe it is. <laughs> actually, I have no idea. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start getting ready. I'm gonna grab this moisturizer I have. The Fount Society sent me their entire skincare line. It's a, um, they are Cozy Earths brand. It's a new skincare brand. Um, if you are familiar with Cozy Earth, they're like a luxury, like linens and pajama brand. They have like really nice pajamas. They have really nice sheets, towels, bedding, all that stuff. And they came out with a skincare line. So they sent me the whole thing to try and the products are just been sitting in the box, so I need to actually like use them so that I can talk about them honestly when I share. This is the Balancing Mist. I'm not sure what it does, but... Mist Face After Cleansing. Okay, perfect. And then where's the serum? Okay, this is their Brightening Oil. It's an oil, so I actually don't know if I want to word on my face while I'm like out and about in the humidity, but like I said, my skin feels really dry. Oh yeah, that is like, that is luminous. Oh my goodness. And this is what I'm really excited about. This is the water cream and it looks so nice. I've already kind of dipped into it a little bit. Just like right when I came in, I could not resist because it looked so nice. Look at that. Oh my God. It looks so nice. I'm just gonna, I always take product off of this little plastic thing. Oh man, this looks like it's gonna be good. Oh, that feels just incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh, my skin is instantly brought back to life. That feels amazing. We're going with two of Alex's fraternity brothers and their girlfriends. And I'm really, oh, this thing leaks all the time. This e.l.f. halo glow, I swear, no matter how tight I seal this cap it just leaks in my bag. It's so, oh, that's so annoying. Oh, I'm almost out of it, and even though I hate that it leaks, I'm gonna buy another one because it's just really good product. I with this extremely dirty brush. Today I finished this book called Divine Rivals, which Abby Aslan Weinstein, if you follow her, she. We got dinner the other night. I finally got to meet her in person. She was so freaking nice. She was so cool. And I think it's just, it like scratches something in the brain when like people you see online and like people who have a cool personality online actually also have a cool personality in real life and they're actually nice in real life. Like it just scratches something in the brain. It's just the best. But anyways, she recommended, we talked about books for like hours and she recommended this book to me. The second one is out now and so I've been reading it. My girls are like, shit, great. Um, so I've been reading it. And I absolutely ate that book up. It was a gorgeous book. It's like fantasy, but like very subtle fantasy. You almost don't even notice it's there. It's more about like enchantments and like, I don't know, it's so beautiful. I can't even like, I just, I wish I could reread it. Like I finished it today and I wish I could just dive back into it and start all over and read it for the first time again because it was so beautiful but i could recommend it enough it's called divine rivals rivals by rebecca ross i hope i'm not butchering it i'm pretty sure it's rebecca ross i'm gonna start the second one right now because the 
first one left on a freaking cliffhanger. It's one of those cliffhangers where you're like, surely there's like 20% more left in this book. Like surely I have like several chapters left to read because you can't end it like this, but she sure did. She ended it like that. I think that's it for the makeup. Just super, like I said, basically nothing, just a lot of blush and a little like skin tint. So I'm gonna wash my hands, clean up after myself, and then I'll show you guys the outfit. And I'm gonna just touch up my hair really quick. I don't know how all you can, guys can even see me right now, but this is the fit I ended up going with. I just wanted to feel cute, but also really casual, comfortable. I just got in these Levi's. These are the ribcage straight leg jeans. They are my favorite Levi's. I have them at this point in, I think this is my fifth pair. <laughs> I wear them so much. I just love how they fit on my frame. I'm like 5'2", so I'm on the petite side, and I feel like it just suits my body shape and my body type. And this bodysuit is super old. I think it's from Abercrombie, but I can't honestly even remember. But it's super old. And then I'm trying to decide what to wear as like a little top layer. Just, it's not cold, but it might get in like the 60s and I just want to have a little something. So this is always a good option. Just a little white button down on top. But, let's see. Like this. Actually, that's pretty cute. I might do that. And I'm just wearing sneakers with this, just my white Reeboks. Or I have, I know this is like super, super casual, but I feel like this is kind of a vibe right now. I feel like it's so cozy. I don't know. I think I should do the white button down. I don't know. It might be a game time decision when I walk out the door. I ended up going with just the sweater i don't know why i just feel a little bit comfier in it and also the white button down had a stain on the back that i didn't see which i'm glad i caught that before i left the house i do have like 47 other white button downs but i just took that as a sign and i just have my black uh amazon bag here and then i don't know if you can see but i have my rebox on Actually feels like Friday it feels so much like Friday right now I am working from home today and tomorrow actually um, I worked in the office Monday through Wednesday this week just like the way the work week was set up that was the best way to do it I don't normally work in the office three days in a row and two days in a row at home I like never do that but that's just like how I worked out this week um, but I'm feeling so puffy from last night I didn't even drink like I think I, I did order a margarita but I only drank half of it because it tasted like from a can or something like it did not taste good and it was like $14 and then my friend Victoria ordered a Paloma like a sparkling Paloma and the waiter brought it out in the glass and then he's like also there was some left so here's the can and he like handed her the can of the rest of it she was like wait so I paid $14 for a canned Paloma <laughs> so I'm pretty sure mine was probably also from a can I don't know, but it just tasted very like sugary and like definitely not like a skinny margarita. I got the skinny not because I care about the calories, but because I just didn't want to be hungover. And usually like with the sweet stuff, I usually get really hungover. I'll get a headache. And I also, I started my period this morning and I knew I was starting today because my aura ring app told me I was starting today and it was as usual spot on. So um, I was like, I do not want to wake up. <laughs> with a period and with a hangover, like no way. But I'm just feeling so puffy because we had like, we had soft pretzels. If you if you follow me on Instagram, you already know my obsession with soft pretzels. I love pretzels. So we got soft pretzels, we had chips and salsa, nachos, wings, pizza. It was so good, but I'm like so puffy and inflamed this morning. And I started my period, so I'm so tired. But um, it's actually like 12.45 right now. I'm on my lunch break. And I'm still like, I'm just, I've been in a trance, like in a daze for the past like four and a half hours. I woke up this morning and I got an email at like 7.30 from an attorney who like needed something urgent. And my boss is out of office for the next two days. So it's just me 
holding down the fort. And of course, all the fire drills happen when your boss is out and you have to deal with all of them. So I had to like jump online super fast and like deal with that. And then I just got like so sidetracked with other things coming in that needed to get done. And so I'm just now like looking up. I haven't had breakfast, haven't had coffee. I haven't like, I did brush my teeth and I did do my skincare, but I haven't changed clothes. My hair is really greasy because it was so humid last night. And we were obviously outside because it was top golf and it feels just like greasy. And I just feel, and then I'm obviously on my period. So I just really, I need to like eat something. So I'm taking a lunch break. I'm deep huffing my face right now because <laughs> my face is just like so swollen and I have a little bit of a headache too. So I'm gonna make some food. I'm trying to decide if I wanna like make some lunch, like lunch lunch, or if I wanna do my feta eggs. <laughs> Cause I haven't had them in a couple of days because the last three days I've been like, I've been waking up late cause this time change is like killing me. So I've been waking up late for work. <laughs> and so I haven't had time for breakfast. So I've just been like making overnight oats at night and taking those with me, which that has saved me. That's just like a little daylight savings hack for breakfast. If you're having a hard time waking up and you're like running out of time for breakfast in the morning, make your overnight oats at night. Take advantage of that extra daylight and make overnight oats and then take them with you in the morning. So that's what I've been having for the past like three days. But yeah, I know you wanna go outside. You just went outside, buddy. Also, Alex just left to go get some crumble cookies cause he, <laughs> Alex is like a sweet, like he is just addicted to sweet things. He has the biggest sweet tooth of anyone I've ever met. And I come from a family of sweet tooths. Like he is obsessed with sweet. He like scrolls through the Crumble Cookies website like as if it's like a social media feed because they release like cookie of the week or whatever. So he just went on there and saw that the cookie of the week is like brownie batter with, what was it? Oh, there was a Lucky Charms cookie. That's what, like immediately, he literally just pulled it up like I don't know 10 minutes ago and then he's like I'm going right now like I'm driving there so and I'm like I'm not complaining because I'm on my period so I am not gonna complain about a cookie I also have a nail appointment this afternoon but <laughs> I made a nail appointment so I usually go to fizz nails in Houston if you're local and it's off of Shepherd, and it's like a solid 15 20 minutes from me and I just hate the drive there because it's so much traffic and the road is under construction it's just a mess and the parking is awful um and like i like it there but i'm not like so in love with it that i will risk all that traffic and go through all that just to get there so i was looking at nail salons in my area and i found like two or three and one of them looked really nice like the interior looked really good and we were looking at it on sunday and i remember looking and there was like one place that had really bad reviews and i was like okay i'm not gonna go to that place i'll book at the other place so yesterday i went to book an appointment and I booked an appointment and I was like, I'm pretty sure this is the right place. And I booked it and today Alex goes, that's not the right place. Remember that's the one that had the bad reviews and it had like weird pictures of people's feet on the review thing. He's like, no, that was the one with the feet. And I was like, oh my God. So I need to cancel it and schedule it at a different place, the nicer place, which interestingly, the other place doesn't look as nice, but it has way better reviews. So I'm like, I don't know, it just goes to show that just because they have a fancy nail salon doesn't mean they know what they're doing. salon I've never been to this place before and I don't know guys I'm trying not to judge a book by its cover but it's a little interesting looking um <laughs> we'll see but I also did my hair which I feel like a new person I haven't like done my hair in I feel like a really long time just in general like for going to work just like my day to day I feel like I only do my hair if I'm like going out somewhere or like have some kind of event to go to so I did my hair and I feel so much more confident immediately I also put on just a little bit of um, like a gradual tanning lotion I used the Lux unfiltered one it's my favorite and I put some of that on so it'll marinate overnight and I'll hopefully have some color tomorrow but let me show you guys what I'm getting for my nails 
I really want to do something super minimal, neutral. I haven't had my nails done in so long, and I just want to go the neutral route for right now. And I think I want to do like a square. I don't know if you guys can really see that. Yeah, like a square shape. And then this is another one I saved. So you're getting the vibe, I think. Something like that. Um, this is another picture I saved. But anyways, my appointment started four minutes ago technically, so I need to get in there. <laughs> a little bit too harshly by the outside it was pretty nice on the inside um a bit fluorescent but, but it was a good experience i actually i felt so bad because they closed at seven and i was there till 7 45 like it's 7 54 right now i felt so bad but i had an appointment it was at 5 45 i got there on time if not a little like maybe three or four minutes late and when i got in they didn't actually seat me until six and then nobody actually came to my chair until like 620 almost I feel like I really like my nails. I'll show you guys. This is what I ended up Getting so kind of similar to the picture that I showed you guys. I think I picked the wrong color This one's definitely more of a nude like almost like a skin tone color and I should have gone with a light pink I had showed them my pictures and she brought me like three different colors and I chose This one and they had one that was more light pink and I should have gone with that one I don't know what I was thinking um, but I went with this one and I also went with like a shorter more like square round style, which I don't know, like that's what the photo was, so that's what I went with. But honestly, on my hands, I feel like I have really short nail beds, so sometimes I feel like my, it just doesn't look as good to have short nails on me. Like I kind of think longer nails kind of elongate my fingers. So I think next time I go, I'll do the light pink and I'll do like a longer almond shape. I know the almond shape is technically out right now, but I don't think it'll ever really be out. I think it looks really beautiful on anybody. And it really looks nice on my hands because it just makes them look longer. I have kind of like short hands or short fingers. So, and also I did dip this time. I normally do gel, um, but I asked them if they could put a tip on just because my nails were like nubs, like they were just so short. And they can't do that with gel, so they had to do dip, which I don't have a preference and I'm not like, I don't care whether it's dip or gel. I just, or yeah, dip or gel. I just feel like gel sometimes is like five or 10 bucks cheaper and I feel like it also takes less time for them to do. It's eight o'clock now, I just turned eight. It's like eight on the dot. Alex is at his workout class. He's gonna be home like any minute. He's probably on his way right now. And I think we're just gonna order flower child for dinner tonight. We do have ingredients to make this like really good like skillet like beef thing. That looks really good. I saw it on Instagram, um, but it's like eight o'clock. And by the time I'm done cooking it, it's gonna be 8.30. I did not know the nail appointment was gonna take that long. So I think we're just gonna order flower child so that way we're still eating healthy, but it's still takeout. So I think we're gonna do that. I'm gonna order it really quick. He sent me his order. He likes the avocado Caesar with chicken. And to order that's $17 for a salad. All right, I just placed that order. I'm gonna run upstairs and change out of this outfit. I feel like there was something else I needed to do tonight. I'm working from home tomorrow, so it's kind of nice that I don't have to worry about packing a lunch or anything or like setting out an outfit um my clock is way behind it's like three minutes slow well no wonder i'm late every day morning it's the next day it's friday so that's at starbucks to celebrate it being friday i've been loving the um what is that like the maple butter chicken sandwich i think it's so good i know there's like some polarizing opinions on this sandwich but i think it's so good i'm getting the cinnamon cinnamon caramel cold brew and i think it's really good tonight we have mexican night with our friends this co-worker who worked at my firm um, in the marketing department and we got like really close and then she left the firm for like a really good opportunity and at a company that's like closer to her but we've like kept in touch and we're still like really good friends outside work which i love i'm so happy that she's like still in my life and i'm still able to like hang out with her so um, they live in the Woodlands, which if you are um, unfamiliar with Houston, the Woodlands is like north of Houston. It's a suburb that's north. It's actually its own township. We drive out there on some Fridays. They go like every Friday to this Mexican restaurant um, with like their friend group up there. And we've started joining them like on like probably I would say like every other Friday or so. Um, 
whenever we can make it and so we're going tonight and we haven't been in like three weeks i think i also think we might go see dune 2 this weekend my sister texted me yesterday and said it was so good so i want to go see it i need to like get my first youtube video edited i <laughs> this is my third youtube video i'm filming right now and i haven't even finished editing my first one like get it together um but i've like gotten really close to editing it and i have i feel a lot more comfortable with editing but for some reason i'm just like procrastinating editing it and i think it's because i'm nervous to post it <laughs> i think i'm just nervous to get it out there so i'm just like putting it off on editing like i know if i just sat down and did it i'd be done editing and like i probably only have like 10 or 15 minutes of editing left to do i just need to like pick a song and like probably put some text in certain places and that's it <laughs> i'm just procrastinating it for some reason i don't know i need to get it together anyways i'm gonna Finish my little breakfast. About to head to our little Mexican night. This is the outfit I went with. I'm actually bringing leggings with me in case I get cold, but I was just kind of in the mood for shorts. I don't know, leggings and a sweatshirt just felt a little heavy for it's like 80 degrees out. It is storming so bad, like it's pitch black outside and it's only 4:45. Um, we're still gonna try to drive there because we really want Mexican food. But I put on this little lemon sweatshirt. You guys have probably seen me wear this already. It's from Nordstrom. My Amazon bag, as always. These shorts are super old from H&M. And then I just did some, gosh, I can't see them. My socks and Reeboks. And just really cozy for the Mexican restaurant. day actually it's like one o'clock it's not the morning anymore but Alex just left to go to his um, little workout class that he does on Saturdays um, I actually had a yoga class for this morning scheduled at 10 and I just did not go and I paid the $15 <laughs> but I don't know why I was thinking I was gonna go to that I don't know what I was thinking I'm on my period I knew today was gonna be gloomy and rainy and I'm on my period and I'm tired and we have plans this afternoon so I'm like why did I do that I don't know like I knew I was gonna want to just relax this morning anyways but um we had so much fun last night out in the woodlands we went to our the Mexican restaurant and then we went and got ice cream afterwards and we went for a walk after which was really nice I love going for walks so that was really nice um we got home we pretty much went straight to bed and then this morning I slept until like nine I woke up at eight and then I like looked at the clock and I was like I don't really have a reason to wake up you know I'm just gonna go back to sleep so I went back to sleep and I just let myself sleep until I woke up so I woke up at nine we had some breakfast we've just been sitting on the couch but like I feel like I haven't really been relaxing I've just kind of been in this weird brain fog like I don't know I'm kind of having decision paralysis like I couldn't decide if I wanted to go to that yoga class or not I literally didn't decide until like 9 45 that I wasn't going um I don't know like I just couldn't decide I couldn't just make a decision I hate that I feel like I get that way on the weekends a lot where I just feel so overwhelmed with like the pressure of getting everything done that I want to get done and that I need to get done in a two-day span I get so overwhelmed with that that my brain just kind of like shuts down and I can't take action I can't like move myself forward I hate that I have like two brand campaigns I need to film this weekend they're due on Friday but I don't really like filming that stuff during the week because it just feels it always feels rushed and I like to like, take my time with brand campaigns and like do a good job and if it's during the week I just feel like I'm trying to beat the daylight I'm trying to like squeeze it into my schedule and everything and it can just be kind of overwhelming we're going to see dune 2 this afternoon I think it's at like 3 30 or something started feeling last night on our way to the woodlands I started feeling myself getting a sty you can kind of see it you can definitely see it it hurts so bad and I also have like an eye phobia so it also is just causing me like severe anxiety on top of that it hurts so bad I haven't gotten a sty since I was in like eighth grade but I got one last year for the first time in like almost two decades probably and yeah like two decades and 
it was horrible i remember the feeling of getting it it was like a similar weather situation to this weekend where like the weather changed really quick like it warmed up and it got really rainy and it was windy and i remember like pollen just flying into my eyes and i was rubbing my eyes and that's what caused it and it was horrible and it hurt so bad and i was freaking out because i hate anything to do with my eyes Getting the warm compress kind of on and off since last night um i'm just waiting for it to work so that's that that's what's going on today i'm about to clean the house while alex is gone because it just feels like gross to me in here i don't know why it's really not like i just i think my brain sometimes convinces myself that it's dirty i think i'm not gonna film it i usually as you guys know i film my sunday resets and i post them on instagram and tiktok but i just don't feel like filming this weekend the lighting is bad anyways i don't feel like filming and i made a promise to myself years ago that if i didn't feel like filming something i wasn't gonna do it so i'm gonna keep my promise to myself even though i feel guilty because i missed two weekends ago i just i have to take care of myself i know that that would be just another thing on top of like cleaning and doing everything else and I'd have to edit the video and everything so I think I'm just gonna skip it and let myself just clean without like clean for myself instead of cleaning for Instagram. I'm gonna clean the house and then I think I'm gonna sit down and just write down the things that I need to get done this weekend and the things I want to get done this weekend and try to find a balance of both and try to figure out what I can realistically manage to do this weekend like what can be pushed to the week you know maybe I can make time if I feel like I didn't get enough relaxing time this weekend when it's all over Maybe I schedule some time during the week to like have a self-care night. Like maybe I'll like cook myself a little meal, have like take a bath, watch a movie, whatever. But I just want to make sure that I'm like treating myself and doing what I need in order to relax and recharge in addition to getting the things done that I want to do. And this is something with like doing content creation on the side that can be kind of like not stressful or overwhelming, but just kind of tiring is... And like I'm so grateful to be able to have brand partnerships that I can film like I that is a dream like I seriously five years ago that was everything I wanted and now I have it and so I try to remind myself of that like I get to film these brand partnerships not like I have to but it is a lot and like I can't do it during the week so I have to do it during the weekend so the time that I want to be relaxing I oftentimes have to do work for content creation so sometimes like I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel bitter about it sometimes, but um, I know that it'll be worth it and I know that hard work will pay off and I know how lucky I am to be able to do it at all. Like I, I really try to remind myself and shift my perspective. It's just, I don't know, it's just exhausting and it's like I'm on my period and it's gloomy out and I just want to do nothing. I just want to like be a vegetable honestly all this to say i need to get off this camera and i need to go take care of the things i need to do so that i can do what i want to do gatsby is being so freaking cute right now he's been so sleepy this morning it's like he can feel that everybody else is sleepy look at his cute little pink toes i know i woke you up i'm sorry babe hi buddy <laughs> he's looking at the little microphone on the top of the camera because it's like a little fuzzball thing <laughs> he's like looking at it but he's too tired to like really think about it. He is so cute. Like, are you kidding? Okay, getting ready to head out and the camera's downstairs, so I'm using my phone, but this is the outfit I went with for the movie. We're going to grab dinner afterwards. I'm gonna put my sneakers on. Um, I have this little denim jacket thing that's really lightweight. I really love this for spring. It's from, I think it's either from Vici or Petal and Pup. I can't remember. I'm in my Abercrombie Essentials tee. And then these pants are so nice. They're from um, Talentless. And they have pockets and a really nice waistband. They're so comfortable. The only thing about them is that they're really long on me. <laughs> so, but that's okay. Um, but this is super comfy for like going to see a movie, but then going to dinner afterwards and then I just have this little bag which is from Amazon. I have my black one too, but I kind of felt like I wanted like a neutral moment. <laughs> Wow. 
These glasses are from Pear Eyewear and literally they have like all these, they're magnetic. They have these magnets on the side so you can swap your frames out. So cool, such a cool idea. I'm working with them over on, I can't remember if it's Instagram or TikTok. But back from seeing Dune part two and it was, it was insane. Like, actually so good. It was good? Yes, it was incredible, great visuals overall. Uh, I loved the music, the score was very good. That's good. Um, all the characters were unique and interesting. Uh, I don't want to like spoil anything, but it was way better yeah. than the first one. I yeah, thought. first one was too too much too many introductions. You know. No, the first one was good, but it it just like I feel like everything terrible happens and then it just kind of ends. Yeah. Like it ends on such a cliffhanger, and I feel like this one like you actually feel like you got the satisfying end, whereas in the first one I was like. Wait, that's it? That's yeah. what happens? But, I mean, granted, that was also because it was part one of two parts, so I knew that that was going to be the case. But, anyways, it was so, so good. The cast was incredible. I didn't even know Florence Pugh and Austin Butler. Bless you! I didn't even know that Florence Pugh and Austin Butler were in it. Austin Butler looks really scary in it. He does not look like himself at all. So we're going to... It's 8 o'clock right now. We're going to try to relax the rest of the night. There's a cookie sitting over there, and it is calling my name. Right over there. It's calling my name. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and end off the vlog here, honestly, because we don't have anything going on tomorrow. We're probably just going to be sitting at home, and I've already cleaned the house, so it's not like I can really film a Sunday reset. So, I think I'm going to end off the vlog here and take it easy the rest of the weekend, but you guys so much for watching. This is my third video. I feel like I'm finally getting the hang of it. I'm finally kind of in a groove a little bit with it, which is nice. Feel free to subscribe and go follow me on social media. I would love to have you over there. And I think that's it. Do you have anything you want to say to the vlog? Anything? Come here, come sign it off. Come say bye to the vlog. <laughs> bye vlog. <laughs> All right, we love you guys and we will see you in the next one. Bye.